All right, we get the serve and volley pay. We're in wide serve, open court shot. That's the pattern. This is where his options are, one or two. And I'm going to split as to make impact and close in. And I'm going to hit the open court shot there regardless. So I'm instantly thinking forehand, cross court, volley, backhand down the line, volley. And everything else depends on kind of what shot he gives me. If he goes body at me, I'm going to go open court shot anyway. If he lobs, I hit the overhead and the open court shot. That's the thinking process you have. Now right here, you have to read it. What's the ball going to do? You want to get in before a ball drops. If you hit the ball in the green zone above the net, you can attack it. Pretty much do anything you want. If it's in the yellow zone, slightly above the net, but right close to the net, a little bit below by your waist, you have to be a little bit cautious in your shot selection. And if it's below that by your knees, you're going to have to defend and hit a shot. You want to basically keep the ball deep or make them move or do both. So you got to think about these zones when you come to net. Anything in the green zone, you kill. Anything in the yellow zone, you be cautious. Anything in the red zone, you just defend. The ball drops. So I have three options. I can go back to him deep, which is a bad option because he won't move. He can do anything you want. I can go to the green shot, which is pretty much my only shot. Or I can go to the yellow shot, which is really low percentage. A little drop shot going back angle. That's really low percentage because the odds are I'm going to pop it up and my opponent's so fast the drop shot won't work. He'll come up and kill it. And I'll have to shift also. So the obvious choice is the green shot. I'm going to go open court shot, green shot, but it's going to go up because I have to hit up. No choice. And I position now. I, I got the down the line. It's probably the easiest shot for him to hit. He can lob. I can go cross court. The cross court's pretty much impossible because he's running backwards. So we negate the cross court shot. But it's always an option. But look, look where he is. His back's facing me. So I'm looking for either a green shot down the line or the top spin lob. Okay? And the key here is when he's making impact, I'm just watching his racket. I'm watching his racket. See what he's going to do. And that will give it away to you. The key here is you must negate the three shot because it's so low percentage. Now you're only watching two shots. Watch his follow through. That's the lob right there. You see it? So the racket comes up towards his face. That's the giveaway, and that's the key to serving and volleying. You have to be able to read what your point gives you. You have to read the shot off the racket, and sometimes you have to guess. But when you learn how to read the racket, it'll make serving and volleying a lot easier.